what's in our craft box? We've got hot glue gun. Got some Mod Podge here. It'll come in handy. Little headband here. Some fur, some fuzz, scissors, an assortment of markers and paint pens here. Got a sponge and extra glue stick. A notebook. Big shiny pink glittery piece of paper. And a pencil. So I think we should get started making this craft. Let's color our troll hair here, because as you can see, it looks kind of like a big Santa beard. So I've got a pink marker here. This is a fabric marker. Now, if you're lucky enough to find some pink troll hair at your crafting store, then by all means, buy the pink. But all I could find was white. Ooh, this is looking good. I wonder if I should do this to my hair. So, next thing, ah! Troll hair everywhere is do the cover of our notebook. So I'm gonna take my pencil here and I'm just gonna trace around. Now we're just gonna cut. All right, let's see how it looks. Ooh, yeah, that's good. It's time for Mod Podge. Okay. I'm just gonna brush that on here. And once you've got your notebook all slathered up in Mod Podge, and we're just gonna take our cardstock here, and we're just gonna smurge it right onto the top there. That is looking already. I mean, that is a fabulous notebook. Who would not want to go to school with such a glittery notebook? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut our hair, and we're gonna glue it to the front. And then remember when we did the inside out notebooks, we did joy and sadness. So what we did is we took the notebook and then we just drew the face right on it. That's what we're gonna do with this. We're gonna do two eyes. So we've got a black paint pen here. Now I'm just gonna do her eyelashes right around the top here. So now I've just got two little black circles. Got her eyes looking pretty good. I'm just gonna do just a little bit of the detail of Princess Poppy's face. Give me a little nose. I wonder if any of you were trolls for Halloween. Tell me if you were. I think that's an awesome costume idea. I'm gonna do just a little bit of pink right around. There's our little face so far. So now that we've got our face going pretty pretty well, I'm going to cut our hair. Not, you know, not this hair. I'm gonna cut along here. Stick that first little bit right on it. There we go. I'm gonna go ahead and add our cute little flower crown. Okay, you know what? I'm really loving the way this is looking, but I think we need to add, we're gonna draw on her ears and add her little, her little wispy bangs to the front. So, I'm just gonna get right back to, to coloring. Little extra, extra fluff here. I'm just gonna cut that. I've got my extra little pieces right here that I'm just gonna glue down to the front. And we need some ears. You can have a troll without ears, right? I'm just gonna draw those on with a paint marker just like we did the nose. And the ears are very big. There you have it, kids! Your very own DIY Trolls Notebook. I mean, come on, look at it. It's got glitter, it's got furry fuzzy troll hair, it's got a pretty pretty awesome headband. I think we're, uh, I think we're winning with this one right here. When you take this to school, everybody's gonna be like, where did you get that? And you're gonna be like, um, I made it. And so then you'll have to tell them to watch my video. So what do you need to make this craft? It's pretty simple. I've got three notebooks, glue, scissors, a black marker, a pencil, and this colored foam from the crafting store. I got yellow, red, blue, and black. Uh-oh, I feel my crafty sense tingling. I hope yours is too, because it's time to start making this craft. So first thing we're gonna do is our Superman logo. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this red foam 
and I'm just gonna sketch the Superman logo onto it. All right, so I'm gonna outline this in black. Okie dokie, now we're gonna cut this out. Ooh, it's looking cool. As you know, cutting the stuff out of the middle is always a harder part. That's why I pinch it and then I make a little, there you go, make a little slit inside. I think it's good to have a parent help you with this part. Pieces of felt, get rid of those. One last little piece. Oh my gosh, this is the hardest one of all. It's so tiny. Whose idea was this? So, I've got some yellow foam here. I'm just gonna glue the red onto the yellow, and then we're gonna cut it out. Okay, now we're all glued up. Pop that down. Just wipe my glue down here. <laughs> all right, so that is all glued down. Looking pretty good. All right, so I'm just gonna let that dry. Now let's get to work on our Wonder Woman notebook. So I'm gonna use this size notebook for my Wonder Woman. I'm gonna cover the front and back of the notebook in this red. Let's go ahead and trace the covers. And just snip along where you traced. Line that up. Let's glue this baby down. I was feeling glue crazy. I was glue happy. Alright, and just smudge that down there. Time for napkin pants. Now don't just go wiping glue and glitter on your regular pants. They have to be real, actual napkin pants. Okay, maybe I'm just gonna trace for the other side here. And let's just cut out our other notebook cover. A little less than straight. There we go. And let's just glue our other little guy down. Oh. Dokey. And now I'm gonna make my Wonder Woman crest. So I've got my yellow here. Actually, what would my superpower be? Maybe I could throw glitter at the bad guys, knock them off that way. Let's just trace this in black. Let's cut this baby out. So now we're just gonna glue this onto this. Let's go back to our Superman. I'm gonna cut that out. Little side note here, I got this blue binder. I thought this would be perfect for our Superman. We're just gonna look at that. We're just gonna, we're just gonna slide it right in there. Okay, so, ooh, almost done, almost. All right, so now we're on to our third and final superhero notebook of the day. Now we're gonna make a Batman notebook and I'm gonna use this tiny little guy right here. So, I am gonna do some yellow on the front. And this time, yeah, I'm just gonna do two. Let's cut these babies out. And let's glue these down. And let's just merge this other one on there. We gotta make, we gotta make the bad symbol. All right, it's a pretty good looking bat there. All right, so let's just cut out this bat. Okay, so, oh, uh, we have our Batman. Na, 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 Batman. I sang it really tiny, because it's so tiny. All right, and just a little glue, not too much. Are you ready to see the notebooks that we made for today's craft? Oh, it's like a little family of notebooks, oh my gosh. What do you need to make this craft? I've got two composition notebooks, some paper. We have white, pale blue, dark blue, pale yellow, and some super awesome blue glitter paper. You can buy paper like this at any kind of crafting store. I've got some glue, scissors, a pencil, a blue marker, and a black marker. Joy is the first notebook we're gonna work on. So let's get started making this craft. I'm gonna use some very pale yellow and I'm gonna cover the front of my notebook with that first. So I got it lined up here. I'm gonna trace out the cover here with a pencil and cut it out. Okay, so let's glue this baby down. I'm just gonna take a little piece of paper here and smurge this around. Okay, just cover 
up the notebook and that's good to go for our joy notebook. I'm gonna set that aside. The next thing we're gonna work on is the eyes. Now Joy's got those nice big popping eyes because she's so happy all the time. I actually already sketched some big big eyes there for for joy those are the ones i'm gonna use first i'm gonna put oh, my pupils there she's got big pupils yeah i'm gonna use some blue here it's looking pretty good i'm just gonna cut those out perfect joy's eyes right there check me out so on a lot of the posters for Inside Out, Joy's actually upside down because she's hopping all around because she's so happy. So I'm gonna make my notebook upside down. I'm just gonna do the eyes like that. Get a little glue, press that down, make sure it's nice and flat. Put a little more glue here. That's pretty fun. Next, let's give Joy some hair. I'm gonna use this crazy awesome glitter paper here. I'm just gonna sort of do a rough sketch of what Joy's hair looks like. That's kind of what Joy's hair looks like. Put that aside, because we're gonna use that for our next notebook. I'm just gonna kind of use this guy. I know I wanna make it a little bit spiky. So it looks pretty crazy on this side, but we'll flip it around. Here we go. That looks pretty awesome. I'm gonna glue that down. We got our upside down joy, and I'm gonna give her a smiley face. I'm gonna sketch it with my pencil first to make sure I like the way it looks. I'm gonna line it with red. All right, so we got a nice big grin on joy here. So this is what it looks like. And there it is, right side up. You know, so it would just look like that. Well, that's looking pretty awesome. Let's do our sadness. We're gonna do a light blue cover. Let's just get that traced on here. Just cut that out, exact same as before. And let's glue this blue down. Okie dokie, get this all smirched. Next, let's work on Sadness's eyes. She's got the so, so super sad eyes. So I already started on a sketch here. She's got big sad eyes. All right, I'm actually, I got a lighter blue marker here to color in her eyes a little bit. Those are Sadness's little sad eyes. And let's just get these cut out here. Now we got our little, our little sad eyes here. They're just so sad. Okie doke. So we're gonna put our eyes here. Squeeze a little blue out. I got them just a little bit, just one a little lower than the other. It's part of her, her sad thing. She can barely even hold her head up. She's so sad. And now we gotta do some hair. I'm gonna use the same glitter paper. And her hair is short on one side, long on the other. Okay, so you can see right there. When I cut it out, I'm gonna flip it over and use the other side and you'll see, you'll see why it should look like that. All right. We're looking pretty good here, or should I say pretty sad. But we need one more thing. Her glasses. Character is not complete without her signature glasses. So I've got some dark blue construction paper here. I'm gonna cheat a little bit and trace my circles. Trace the inside and I'm gonna make a circle right next to it. And then I'm just gonna draw a little line to connect them. Make another little circle. Here we go. Now we just gotta cut this out. This is the hard part. And I wanna show you a trick for this. I'm actually gonna cut right there, but that's okay. You see, and I'll just put that together when I glue it onto the notebook, so it's fine. Now let's do that on the other side. That way we can cut it out without bending everything up. All right, so we have her glasses here. They're pretty good. They're not, you know, best glasses I ever saw, but they're pretty great. So we're just gonna glue those down. Easy does it. And let's just wait for that to dry. One thing I wanna add, I wanna add just a tiny little sad now. There you have it, boys and girls. We've got our sadness notebook, and we've got our joy notebook. We're happy, and then we're sad. Happy, and then we're sad. We did a pretty good job, I think.
Well, what do you need to make this craft? Well, it's pretty simple. We've got little notebooks because, of course, small equals cute. Some cute cardstock paper, scissors, permanent markers, paint pens, a pencil, and some glue. So first things first, let's take one of our little notebooks here. Let's choose a cover. This is actually, I don't even have to glue this paper on. This is a sticker back. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna trace our notebook. Let's go ahead and trace one more here. So far, not that exciting. We're just cutting out some shapes. Here we go. Woo! Heavens to Fancy. I thought that was gonna take all day. All right, let's cover our back here. You know what? Let's go ahead and cover all of our notebooks and then we'll decorate them. This one we're gonna glue down. And this one was already yellow, but you know, we wanna get the cereal code off of there. Not the kind of cereal you eat, by the way. If it were that kind of cereal, I'd just... All right, then we're gonna put that over here to dry. Notebook numero tres. Mm, choices, 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 choices. Let's do this kind of grayish lavender here. All right, so same old, same old, just tracing. Let's cut these bad boys out. And then we'll get to the fun part, I promise. Sometimes glue bottles, they make funny noises. We've got three super cute little notebooks already. I love them. We're gonna turn them into super kawaii. So kawaii is all about cuteness. You know, Pikachus. We did a Pikachu pencil case a while back. We did a Hello Kitty pencil case that was pretty kawaii. I'm gonna do some eyes here. You know what I think I wanna do? I wanna do a pig! Far so piggy. I'm gonna go kind of Pikachu inspired on this one. All right, so our very last notebook here, I am gonna do a cat on the back of our piggy notebook. Draw just a little tail. And there you have it, boys and girls, your very own Kawaii inspired miniature notebook. Let's see what's in the old craft box today. We have one hot glue gun, some stickers, ribbon, a blank book, a tiny lock and key, some glitter paper. So let's get started. Let's start with decorating our book. So you can see we've got a nice shiny black cover here, but come on, let's add some color. Oh, you know what? One more thing I need is scissors. I always forget scissors. All right, scissors please. And I need a pencil. Oh my gosh. All right, so we're just gonna measure this glitter paper out the exact size we need for our book cover. So now I'm gonna take my scissors here and that. You can decorate your diary any way you want. You can even call it a journal if you prefer. Cool thing about this is it's a sticker, so I don't even have to glue it. There we go. And nice and easy. There we go. There we go. That looks pretty good. Awesome! This is looking pretty cool because it was a plain black notebook and now it's a shiny blue book. Awesome! Just give a little trace. And let's cut that out. Let's just pop this bad boy on the back of our book here. Yeah, there we go. Same thing as before, we're just gonna very carefully lay this down. So that's looking cool. And you know what? I'm gonna put a little strip right here of silver. You might find you need some help when you're doing this part. If you have somebody hold the book while you trace, it might make it a little bit easier. And while you're making the craft, you can start thinking about what you're gonna put in your diary. All your awesome ideas. I don't know if you have a brother or sister who's always going through your stuff. Maybe you do, and maybe this will help. You have a little lock on your diary, and that way they can't get inside. Oh, cool, so we got a blue cover silver binding and a purple pack. So we've got some cute stickers here. And of course you don't have to use stickers. You can make your own designs and put those on there. Let's 
stickers that say awesome memories. You might write about some awesome memories in your diary. Like today I went to school and I had pizza and tacos. It was a pretty memorable day. That might be something you write. Oh, we got one sticker that says LOL. Definitely put that on there. I love to laugh out loud. All right, cool. This is looking pretty awesome. Smile. I think that's a nice message. I'll put that on there. Oh, ooh, you never guess what happened. Oh, that's awesome. That's exactly, that is diary material. Love sticker. Love is always nice. Eh, you know what? One more, one more, one more. And happiness. Oh, yeah, let's put that on there. We are into happiness. All right, so now we have to attach our lock so that we make this high security, like I said. So right now, anybody could come along and open this up and read all your secret diary entries. So, I've got some ribbon here. We're gonna make some loops on each cover, the front and back cover of the book. And then we're gonna use that to attach together, put the lock through. No one's getting in there. So all you need is this little, little section of ribbon, not too long here. We're gonna make that into a loop, which we're going to hot glue because hot glue is a little more secure. But you could also use duct tape. All right, so we're just gonna let that dry. Be very careful. If you need a grown up to help you, go get a grown up to help you. So that's dry. And you know what? This wad of hot glue is not so pretty. So I'm gonna cover that up with an awesome sticker. Now let's do a loop on the other side. So same thing. We're gonna loop. Make sure, oh, yep, make sure they line up. Tell me in the comments what kind of stuff you're gonna put in your diary. Are you gonna make drawings, plans for awesome inventions, to-do lists? I mean, obviously don't spill all your secrets down there in the comments, because then, you know, everybody's gonna know. Now we have both of our loops attached. They're hot glued, they're feeling pretty secure. So, we're almost done. Ooh, actually, you know what? Hold the phone, we are not done, people. I'm just gonna put this old regular looking lock on my super awesome custom design diary. No way, I'm gonna decorate this. Oh, the stickers are cool. All right, ooh, here's one that says ha ha. Put that on there, that way somebody's trying to break in, you'll be like ha ha, it's locked. Should we decorate our key too? Most likely. I'm just gonna do a little bit of purple here. Cool, it's time to lock it. And take your lock, run it through the loops, lock it. <gasps> awesome! Look at that! Ooh, oh, oh. I wanna open it, but I can't! Alright, oh, almost forgot. We gotta write key out so people know that this is top secret. Well, make sure you keep your key, kids, because you don't wanna get locked out of your own diary. Oh, but this is so cool! I'm so excited. Let's see what's inside our craft box today. Oh, I've got some colored pencils, scissors, black marker, spongy thingies, the Mod Podge here, a notebook, and a sheet of white paper. And then, oh, what's this? Ah. So there, yeah, these are my supplies that I need to make a Drew Pen This Notebook. It's perfect for back to school, and it's perfect for writing superhero stories in. So let's get crafting. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna trace our paper to make it the right size to fit the front of our notebook. So I'm just gonna line it up here. Perfect. All right, so now we got this line drawn on. Let's just cut this out. I'm just gonna start with kind of a rough sketch here just to make sure I've got all my proportions right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna color it first and then we're gonna outline everything in black. Let's go ahead and color this in. Let's start, start with his hair. Let's do our orange mask. Tell me in the comments what your superhero powers are. I bet you've got some superpowers. You can probably eat a cookie really fast. Here we go, we got a lot of coloring to do. Gonna right, get ready. Exercise those hands. All right, I think I'm ready. I wanna draw around the borders with a black marker. Dun, da, da, da. Super Drew, the stupendous Drewpendous and his mighty penultimate. All right, Mod Podge time. So, I'm just gonna dip that in here. And you just wanna be careful not to smear your marker or your colored pencil around. Let's do another, let's do our 
other side here. Okay, so let's just let that dry and then afterward we're gonna put another coat of Mod Podge on top so that it doesn't get all scuffed up and messed up. You don't have to worry so much about getting your notebook messed up. You're gonna have a protective layer here. Alrighty, so we'll let that dry. And there you have it, boys and girls. A stupendous, stupendous notebook. What do you need to make this craft? Well, it's pretty simple. A notebook, some shiny red paper, that's some white cardstock, Mod Podge, a brush for my Mod Podge, some black markers, thumb scissors. Let's get crafting! So, let's take our white paper here, and I'm gonna measure out her face, and I'm gonna make it about the same size as our little composition bubble right here. So for a Lego person's head, it's pretty much almost a square, but with rounded corners. I'm gonna cut that bad boy out. And there are a lot of other fun characters from the Batman Lego movie. I love Batman, Robin. Oh my gosh, I'm super excited about the Robin character. Let's go ahead and make our face. Draw some glasses and eyes. All right, and then, so Harley also has a little red mouth. All right, so there you see it's pretty tiny, but I got cut out a tiny little mouth. Diamond. Cool, so we got our face. Now we gotta work on Harley's hair. I'm going to make all out of red, and then I'm, we're gonna draw on the black part. And I'm just gonna kinda draw around it on our red paper here. All right, so now that we've sort of given ourselves some, some guidelines here, I'm just gonna cut it out. So I am gonna glue down this face. Got a little Mod Podge on the front here, no big deal. Let's do our, our little uh, black hair accents here. Okay, so now we're just coloring in this whole side here. It's all gonna be black. We're gonna take some Mod Podge and we're gonna cover this whole thing so everything's sealed in and protected. All right, and are you guys ready? Lego, 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 Batman! Ah, look at that! We've got a super awesome, super easy DIY Lego Batman inspired Harley Quinn notebook. So tell me in the comments which character you're gonna do. What do we need to make our craft today? Well, I've got a notebook. I got a pencil. It's a big one. I love it. I have a hot glue gun again. I've got a fidget spinner that I bought in a store. And I've got one halfway done that we can finish today. And then I've got some cool shiny paper that we can decorate our notebook with. So we have everything we need to get started on this craft. Oh, and scissors. Pretty much always need scissors. It's like crafting 101. So we got everything that we need. Let's get started making this craft. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start decorating my notebook. Get this piece of silver sticker paper here and we're just going to put that on the front of our notebook. You can do both sides. I'm just going to do the front side for now. I'm going to use my big pencil here and I'm just going to trace. There we go. All right. I'm going to cut that out. Just peel that. Awesome. Oh, I'm going to be really careful here. Working with Snickers is stressful stuff. You know, sometimes I get so stressed out, I just gotta spin. <sighs> okay, let's try this sticker thing one more time. I'm gonna take some of the stress out. I put my sticky back right there so I can work with this a little more easily. And then let's just carefully smooth that down. You know what would have been easier? And this happens to me a lot of the times when I'm crafting. I could've just stuck this paper on and cut it out along the edge. But whatever, it worked. So already we've got a pretty cool notebook here. Ooh, silver. So we're gonna put a fidget spinner right there on our notebook. It's gonna be awesome. I'm just gonna put that right there in the middle. Make sure you don't put too much glue. It can come up and get into the mechanism. Don't want anything to Oh yeah, you don't want anything to clog it up. Now I'm gonna move on to making another DIY 
DIY fidget spinner. I love the store-bought ones, but it's fun to make some. So I've got this little bit already cut out here. Got my nickels, and I am just gonna trace the big pencil. It gets in the way. All right, I'm gonna cut out some circles here. You can do yours with all store-bought fidget spinners or all DIY, whatever you like, whatever strikes your fancy. All righty, so we've got the little circles cut out here. Oh, my glue gun's drippy, so drippy. Got the it there. All right, time for some more glue. And remember, for the step-by-step step of making your DIY fidget spinner watch last week's video see it's got everything you need to know about making a DIY fidget spinner all right looking pretty good here okay there's a little bit of this straw here we're gonna poke that right in yep that's pretty nice all right so this time I'm gonna make a pencil with a fidget spinner I want to do it on the side kind of like a pinwheel or on top I'm gonna do it on top. I've got a little bit of straw. Let's just pop a little glue right up in our pencil top. Submerge that in there and let's let it dry. This wouldn't even fit inside any of my pencil cases, but it's fun. Let's decorate the front of our notebook a little bit more. We got a fidget spinner on our notebook, but we can make this a little more awesome. I've got some cool sticker letters. And I've got some cool stickers here, stars and hearts. I'm gonna put my name on it so it's personalized. C-A-R-O-L. So already looking super duper awesome. Ah! Ooh, let's put some hearts and stars. This is gonna be the coolest notebook ever. Of course, you could put any kind of stickers here you want. You could do some cool superhero stickers, some sports stickers, maybe you have a favorite team. So this is looking super cool. Check it out. I got my very own super cool notebook. Let's check in on our pencil here. Is it all dry? That is dry. Yep, gonna pop that right in there. And then I'm just gonna put a little gemstone on top. Ooh, that's gonna look so cool. All right, hot glue, you ready? Place that here, put that like so. Put that there and let it dry. Now this is the part where you just gotta be patient. I'm so stressed out, I gotta spin. <laughs> And there you have it, boys and girls, your very own DIY spidget, spidget spinners. Oh my goodness. Your very own DIY fidget spinner back to school crafts. I cannot wait to see how yours turns out. So have your grown up take a picture, post it to Instagram, tag me, tag Cool School Show, and that way I get to see the awesomeness you create. And let's see what else, what else. Oh, comment below. Tell me what's your favorite thing about going back to school. And tell me what craft you want to see next. And grown-ups, don't forget, you can order birthday craft boxes. Info is in the description below. Share this video with a school friend you can't wait to see this year. And make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye!